Here we have another block diagram, and you're again looking for the transfer function between the input u and the output y. This block diagram is very simple to simplify. We basically have here three operations. We can start with this feed forward loop, this feedback loop. We can combine them and then use this feedback loop to find the transfer function. Let's start here. Looking at this diagram, we can see that this is not a feedback loop. This is a feed forward loop because both signals are feeding a sum and the sum is continued to the right. These two blocks can be multiplied and we can simply add this line to the line that comes from F. So this entire block here can simplify. to a over s plus f. Now moving to this feedback loop. This is a simple feedback loop to simplify. This would be 1 over s over 1 plus d over s. And after some symbol manipulation here, we'll see that this simplifies to 1 over 1 plus s plus d. If you find the common denominator, s will cancel out. So that block, this feedback here, becomes 1 over s plus d. And then b becomes, b remains the same. Here is the output y of s, and you can finally now have the feedback k there. Now clearly we can multiply these two blocks and then find simplification for the block diagram. Now you can simply multiply these two blocks and eliminate the negative feedback loop. Using the same strategy that we have here, we can now do y of s divided by u of s as the main line function here, a plus fs over s times 1 over s plus d divided by 1 plus the main line function times the feedback function k. So this is for this part of the diagram. And now everything is multiplied by b. If you now find the common denominator for the denominator and the numerator of this equation, everything will simplify. And this becomes a plus s f divided by s, s plus d, plus a plus f s times k, everything multiplied by b. And this is the transfer function between the input and the output.